Hey, what's up guys? It's time to do some drawing today. I thought we should draw this uh, iron wall. So let's jump into After Effects. The first thing we have to do is to make a composition. So new composition and press OK. Then we are going to draw a rectangle. So take the rectangle tool and drag it out like this. Uh, we don't need any stroke, so we disable stroke. We're going to use a fill. I think it's from there. Then we're going to center this. Then we're going to go down to a rectangle and uh, set the size. And we're going to uncheck this box here so we can uh, set our own size. 900 and 500. Like so. Then are we going to add some effect here? First of all, do we need a um, light sweep? And you can just drag it out like so. This is going to be um, the shininess. Uh, the first thing we have to do is remove this uh, shininess on the edge here. And we can change the angle a little bit, like so. Then now we're going to um, increase the width. And we're going to increase the intensity. Then we're going to uh, duplicate this layer. So we mark it and control D. Then we move it to the side. Around there. Then we're going to add a uh, curves layer. And you have to drag it out. Just, just to um, even it out a little bit like so then are we going to add a little bit of a pattern here so we're going to add a um, fractal noise Let's drag it out then we're going to set um, this to um, screen and lower the opacity to around uh, 17 then are we going to duplicate this layer, so a mark it and control D. Then are we going to set the transform scale to 1. Then going to change the blending mode to darken. And the opacity to around um, 5. This is just to get uh, a little bit of this uh, graininess. Like so. And we can now go and disable that so we can see the edges here. Now we're going to add edges. So we're going to the layer and add layer style bevel and bows. Go down here to bevel and bows. We change the white to a little bit more gray and the black to a little lighter black. Then I'm going to um, change the smoothness to a chisel soft. This is a little bit more hard edge. Then we're going to increase the size to around seven. I think that's good. Now we're going to um, change the angle to around 30. And we can, let's see here. I think that's good. So we can go up here and change the name, uh, enter and uh, type um, plate. And now it's time for um, making the bolts here. So we're going to unselect, unselect this layer and add another rectangle tool. Or another rectangle, like so. And we are going to align this one. And we're going to 
align the other rectangle too like so and um, now we're going to remove the fill and add a stroke there is good enough I like that color there um, the size 45 is good um, now we're going to get down to this rectangle and um, the stroke we are going to add uh, dashes here first one and then another one so we get the gap then we're going to set the dashes to zero and we're going to uh, set the, um, this round cap this is making us to get rounded um, let's see here if we increase this you see like so but first of all we can we can set this to uh, 200 but we're going to uh, set the um, size here to rectangle path and we're going to uncheck this and set this to um, 800 and this to 400 this is just to get the um, the spaces between the dots perfect like so then we can go up here and remove that so we can see the dots then we're going to add um, uh, layer style and bevel and bows I think this looks quite good too if you have the flat but I would like to have them more round so we can do like this we go to the um, size let's see um, we're going to bevel and bows and we're going to set the size to a little bit higher like so and then we're going to change um, the color a little bit more gray and the black should be a little bit lighter like so and we can change this angle to a 30 and we can and see the angle I think there's good and now we're going to add a stroke so we're going to layer style and stroke and then we go down to with the stroke and change the color to um, a little bit grayish and then we can change the size to one And then can we lower the opacity? To round there. That's fine. So they are happy with uh, the plate. And uh, now can we do like this? We can um, change the name to bolts. And now that we have the plates and bolts, so can we um, mark them? And uh, go up to uh, layer and uh, pre-compose and uh, we can name these two um, plate and bolts so now that we have this layer and now can we just um, make the whole wall by uh, duplicating so mark the layer and press D duplicate and press P to get the position and now you just uh, dragging um, the plates in different right directions so to get them a little bit over the whole uh, place and I'm going to uh, speed up this so we don't have to um, look at all this uh, moving around And in this way can you make a quite easy iron wall and if you add some music and sound effects can it look something like this now if you will support me on patreon you can also get the project file there you can find the link in the description below and i also have some other metal videos coming up so if you don't want to miss them don't forget to like and subscribe but for now guys it's the time to say over or not